So we had him here like two weeks ago. We took right. him to the They let him move too soon. Now he's locked himself in the apartment. Is he seeing the ghosts again still? The, uh, I we don't, he won't talk to us anymore. Second floor. Second. It's, a, it's a living room, kitchen, bathroom. That's his bedroom right there. The door he goes in. Like the tall Did you say he's seeing ghosts? Three, your phone number is. Does he live local? I don't know. I'm I don't see him. What was his name again? What was his name? Andrew. Andrew. Last time he came out right to us because there was a ghost in his uh, blanket. You guys should sit down so we can just one of those. I was here yesterday and uh, he's okay. Yeah. 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 Just hold it from here, we're going to grab out the shield. Uh, I might just use that little shield for it. Yes, right. Yeah. 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 Why? Why? got to be little. They don't got another shield. Damn, this shit's never in another shield. We don't get the high quality shit. Today, you want us to get out of here? It's, it's 
it's uh, it should be behind the driver's side somewhere uh -huh. in a box. Up there you go, right there, perfect. Andrew, all we're here to do is talk to you. Thank Make you. sure that you're good, bro. I know last week we were here. Nobody said. Nobody said that you're anybody's slave. Do you know? Do you, do you know who called the cops? Do you know who called the cops? Who called the police on you? Andrew, who called the cops? Did you have an argument with somebody? Maybe they're trying to get you to go to the hospital. Hey, Andrew, can you come to the door? Andrew, will you come to the door and talk to me? My name's Steven. I'm with the emergency service unit. All we want to do is make sure that you're good. If you can open the door and show us your face and your hands that are clear, that's all we want to see. You sound like you're having a bad day in there. Come to the door and speak to me. I know you don't want the police at your door, bro. Andrew, do you live here with anybody else? So. I feel like I know. You was bad last time? No. You had a good interaction? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No. When was it? It was like two weeks ago. Hey, Andrew, we're the same guys that were here two weeks ago, bro. We helped you out. We brought you... What's that? You remember, you remember the bit? You remember the big black truck that was here two weeks ago? My partner Felix, he was here. He told me that you treated everybody like gentlemen. It's all we want from you today. If you can open the door for us nice and slowly, we'd appreciate it and we'll get out of your way, man. I know you don't want the police at your door, it's annoying. I wouldn't want them there either, bro. 
Think you can come to the door and open it for us? We're not trying to come in. We're not trying to do nothing like that. If you want to see my face, you can see my face. Can you hear me, Andrew? You're screaming in there like you're having an issue, man. You can talk to me about it. We all have bad days. You still there, Andrew? your coffee machine bro black and decker Andrew come on man just cooperate with us Andrew we're here to help you man we're not here to put you in handcuffs. We don't want to mistreat you. We want to treat you with respect. We just ask for the same respect back. You think you can come to the door and at least tell me what's going on today? You having a bad day? What's going on? You want us to leave? Does he have a fire escape in the back of the evening? It's the last positive cap I don't know. thinking about hurting yourself? Do you want to kill yourself? Or harm anybody? He's got like weird shit written all over the walls. said man we're only here to help you if you can come to the door and talk to me and tell me what's going on we'd all appreciate it you're not in trouble you're not under arrest we just want to make sure that you're good inside you're screaming you're banging stuff if you can just come to the door and tell me what's going on he hasn't been responding to us captain He's coughing and stuff like that. That's about it. He is a heavy smoker. Andrew, are you still there?
to him. <laughs> Andrew. You're still inside, bro. We're still here, man. We just need you to come to speak to us. What's going on, man? I'm a ghost. Like I said before, it's the Jersey City Police Department. We're here outside your door. If you hear any voices, it may be one of our radios. 
I'm willing to work with you. How can we help you out today? I get it. Some people feel that they're intimidated with police at their door, but we just want to help. willing to come talk to me, man? We want to get out of your way today. We're not trying to stay here all day and bother you. If you need help, we're here outside. shot them. Who'd you shoot, Andrew? Andrew, it's the Journey City Police. How can we help you out today? Do you need our help? We're here to help you. We want to help you out. 
You mentioned something about ghosts. There's no ghost out here. But if you come out to us, we're willing to help you. We'll make sure your apartment's nice and safe. But I can't do that with the door being closed. Andrew, like I said, it's the Jersey City Police. You're not in trouble. You're not going to be placed under arrest or any handcuffs. We just want to make sure that you're safe. Who can we get here? Who can? Is there somebody you would like to talk to? You don't sound too well. We'd like to get you checked out by the EMTs. They're here and they're willing to help you. If you need some oxygen or whatever. But the whole time we've been here, you've been coughing pretty bad. Is there something I can do right now to help you? Do you want coffee or something? Andrew, we're still here, man. Mess up here. Do 
Don't move. Stop moving. Have the EMT stand by over here. Get him up here. Stop moving. Stop moving. You got the taser in him and he got the shot. 